Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this How to Use Texture Paste with Glitter. In this episode, we're going to be using black 3D eyes ink texture paste and we're going to be using Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Jewels and we're going to marry them up to make a gorgeous background using your texture paste in just a different way, something a little bit more advanced than using the stencils as we've been doing for the last couple. So the first thing I've done is I've actually put two sheets of copier paper onto my mat and then I'm going to put a piece of card down and then I'm going to add craft masking tape as previously and I'm just going to add this in two corners like that, one corner and I do the opposite corners because then when I put my stencil on, um, my stencil will be taped in the opposite two corners just to make it evenly stuck down. Now, you can use more masking tape. And I'm saying masking tape. When I say masking tape, it's craft masking tape. It's not decorator's masking tape. That's got a different stick to it. Um, so you can add more tape if you're feeling less confident shall we say so there we go so that's my stencil stuck down as we have done before in our previous videos now I'm going to use the black texture paste for the simple reason that I want you to be able to see the glitter on it and I think if I use the white and everything else is white it might be harder to see so I'm going to go into the pot and I'm going to pull out some of my black texture paste and it's like treacle. I'm going to start just below the edge as we've done before and drag it down and then keep going dragging it down and so it fills in those holes and then I go back the other way to make sure that I've got everything and by now you should be all professional texture paste stencilers because you must have watched videos one and two of how to add how to use your stencil with texture paste so now you must be all at it stenciling and texture pasting away Okay, so we keep going, adding our texture paste until it's all covered, as in the previous ones. And we can keep dipping in for a bit more if we don't feel we've got enough. Spread it on and gently press down. It'll only hold the amount that it needs in the holes, like we've said. Um, it's very therapeutic, you know, actually, using texture paste. So we'll just spread that a little bit more to fill in this last section. And I'm using my spatula, I'm not using my knife, because as we've said in the introduction, for me, just at the moment, bad wrist, so I'm finding it little difficult to turn it okay so all that is now covered so I can just scrape off the excess like that make it nice and smooth and you can see that the black texture paste has got a nice shine on it so I can put my excess back in the pot and I can put the lid on to save it drying up and I'm just going to wipe my spatula because I don't want to have to run out and wash it and because it does go hard on your tools as well so if you keep wiping them, keep them clean use your kitchen roll and your baby wipes you'll be fine, she says okay, so now we've got our texture paste on our stencil 
I'm going to take my glitter. Now, you're going to use more than you need and you're not really going to tip much back in the pot for the simple reason that, um, well, I'm saying you're using more than you need. It will only hold what it needs, but I would just try and sprinkle quite carefully only because um, you're not really going to tip what you've not used back in your pot because it might have texture paste on it. So just sprinkle, you don't have to sprinkle all over, but sprinkle just randomly. And now what we can do is peel our stencil away so I can take the masking tape off the corners like so and very gently and then I can lift my stencil away in fact just before I do that she says thinking out loud I just need my kitchen roll and my baby wipe to be able to keep my stencil nice and damp while we carry on chattering so I'm going to peel the stencil away nice and carefully because don't forget you've got glitter on it as well now now at this point you go wash this don't worry about what you've made or how it looks just go wash your stencil because obviously you've got glitter on it you've got texture paste on it and it might be a little bit messy at this point so I've just simply put mine between my baby wipes just to keep it damp while we carry on chattering and I'm going to wipe my hands so I'm trying to dispel your myths that it's um, a messy technique and it isn't really and I'm hoping I am helping um, because it's quite easy to keep yourself clean it's quite easy to clean up after it's not something that's going to leave a mess for months and months or even weeks and it just washes off with um, warm soapy water so you're not left with permanent black ink all over your hands or anything okay so our background is looking awesome and I can peel it off from my craft tape to see how we're looking now the reason that we added extra paper to the scrap paper underneath is because when we lift it up we want to just turn it over and flick off any excess glitter now the glitter that we've put on will hold to the texture paste and as it dries it will dry in with the glitter and the glitter will be stuck into the texture paste as it were so the texture paste acts like a bit like a glue holding the glitter in place if you've never used the two um, items together it will stay in place now you can see areas that haven't got any and some that have and that's going to make a gorgeous background for any of your card projects or scrapbooking projects so you don't have to use it with clear glitter you don't have to use it with black um, texture paste I've just used the black so that you can see how it shines because if I'd have used white um, you would have seen the shine but it wouldn't have stood out so much and that just looks so pretty so now I can leave that overnight to dry and we can carry on with our next project tomorrow and tomorrow actually what we're going to do is we're going to make different colours um, with our texture paste with micro powder and we're going to do something a little bit different 
with um, our texture paste by using the micro powder. We're going to use the same stencil because I think then at the end of the week we can look back at what we've done and we can see all the different kinds of backgrounds that we've made using texture paste and because they're all different but we've used the same stencil we can see all the different processes so I think that would be quite cool so please join me tomorrow um, for using micro powders with our texture paste if you've got anything to say please feel free to comment on Facebook or my blog I can't reply to you on YouTube but I do love hearing from you so you know feel free to comment if you're enjoying the series let me know um, it was a sudden idea that I thought, you know what, I've been looking for something that I wanted to do as a mini-series and I really enjoyed using the texture paste on some projects that I did for something else and I thought, I know, let's do something to help ease you all in gradually and get you using them like I'd been using them um, and dispel your fears because... I was just like you thinking, do you know what, I can't do that, I'm not mixed media and now there's no looking back for me, I love it. So I just want to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.